My visit this time to Namibia uh, is uh, based on our mutual desire to promote mutually beneficial cooperation in various areas. Uh, thank you very much for receiving last year uh, our Deputy Prime Minister, our Minister of Justice, the visits uh, allowed to, to agree on quite a number of specific things with Madam Minister co-chairing the Intergovernmental Commission on Economic Cooperation. And today we had a very good discussion concentrated on the need to make all our agreements work. And uh, your personal attention to our relations, uh, Mr. President, is really a guarantee that we would succeed. Uh, I would like also to convey best regards and best wishes from President Putin uh, to you, Mr. President, uh, and uh, to reiterate our readiness to cooperate closer and closer. Uh, thank you very much. <coughs> well, all in days, of course, some of us are around. <laughs> and uh, I was saying once that wherever people were oppressed and fought and struggled, the Russians were there. Call them Soviet Union that time, the Russians were there to help those who were struggling. Namibia, as you said, no exception. We benefited, and because of that push, the fact we forced eventually Western Five to try to rescue the properties of the white people here, since they thought uh, white people lost their property or were threatened by communism in Mozambique and Angola. Therefore, they came to intercede in the remaining settler colonies of Zimbabwe and Namibia and South Africa. So we still have the same problem now, the second phase of the struggle, talking about the land issue, the skilled development, inequalities which are still persisting. So we say we are now entering the second phase of the struggle. So all our friends who are with us said, the first phase must now come, and we, as we said, enter into trade and the other level of business and so on, so that we can continue as friends still. So thank you very much and welcome once more. Thank you, and I'm sure we will succeed. We'll succeed, yes.